Hi guys. I'm like so stressed, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. I have enough time. Okay. I'm at my first doctor's appointment for baby number two and I'm so excited. Um, but on top of what's going on in the world right now and like that being really stressful, um, and if you haven't seen my other videos, um, I have to go alone, which is the case for most women right now going to OB appointments. Um, they're only allowed to, to go by themselves. Um, on top of that, it's like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like storming out. Like the one day that I have to leave my house, it's storming. Um, and where I live, there are a lot of trees and foliage and it was just so stressful driving here uh, because there were so many down branches and I was so nervous about a branch coming down. And, oh my gosh, my blood pressure was probably like through the roof right now. I need to, like, I have time to calm down. It's, right now it's 10.38 and my appointment's at 11. Um, they want me to call um, before my appointment, so probably in like five, 10 minutes, I'll give them a, a call and let them know that I'm here. And then they said that they would call me once there was a room available and then I would come in. I think that they're trying to avoid anyone in the waiting room. Also, my OB is in a hospital, so ooh, I think it'll be okay. I, I know it'll be okay. I just, uh, I brought a hair tie. I'm gonna tie my hair back. I have a mask. I have a mask. I'll wear the mask. And I have like more than enough hand sanitizer. I'll be fine. I just won't touch my face. I wore things that like I can take off that don't have to go over my head. So, that's good. Oh my gosh, you hear the wind? It's like crazy. I said not touch my face and here I am like itching my nose. So yeah, it's just, I, I, I think I was gonna be kind of stressed and a little nervous anyway. Oh my gosh, excuse me. <laughs> I had avocado toast for breakfast with tomato and raw red onion, which at the time was so delicious and seemed like such a great idea. And now I have like the worst indigestion. Um, I knew I was going to be nervous and anxious already. Sorry, the steering wheel is like the shot. Um, but just add like the weather on top of it and then like the realization of actually being here during a pandemic and Jeff not being here and it just feels like a lot. Like it feels, it feels like a lot and it, it feels surreal. It doesn't feel... I don't know, it doesn't feel normal, but it isn't normal, so that's fine. Okay, um, we'll turn this back on when I give them a call. I'm just gonna like, take a few minutes to just sit by myself alone in the car and relax. Okay, I'm gonna call up, but before I do, I wanted to mention um, I'm seven weeks and four days today. Yeah, just wanted to put that in there <laughs> for like memory's sake. All right, I'm gonna call up now um, and let them know that I'm here and they will phone me. Let's see. Room's available. Okay, no one answered. <laughs> Why? I'll just call back in like a few minutes. Maybe they're busy. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna try calling again. Still no answer. That's so weird. I guess I'll wait another five minutes and call again. And then if I don't get a reply, then I'll just leave a voicemail. And then at 11, I'll go in. Right? Goodness gracious. I'm gonna call for the third time. <laughs> and I think this time I'll leave a voicemail if no one answers. And then I guess just wait. My name is Erica Moulton. I have an appointment today at 11 a.m. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I am here and I'm waiting in the car and you can give me a phone when it's time to come up. Thank you, bye. I forgot to leave my phone number. That should be okay, right? They know my phone number. 
Oh, great. Just excellent. I'm gonna tie my hair back just in case they call and say, like, come on up. and I still haven't heard like I've been calling and I still have got no answer I tried a few other numbers too like I don't know about your doctor's offices but a few numbers come up sometimes when I'm like googling it so I tried all those and still nothing um, I told Jeff that I would like keep calling every five minutes and then like wait until 12 and then at 12 I'll call and leave a voicemail saying like never heard back I'm gonna go home this is so bizarre like, my only thought is that maybe the nurses are manning the phones and like maybe the receptionists aren't there I don't know this is really bizarre let me call again My name is Erica Moulton. I have an appointment today at 11 with, um, and just haven't heard anything yet and wanted to let you know that I am outside um, waiting in my car to come up. Um, so yeah, I look forward to your call back. Thank you. Bye. I'm here. <laughs> no problem. Okay, great. Thank you so much. All right, bye. Going in. <gasps> All right, let's go. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film in there, but maybe if I'm able to film anything, I will. <sighs> oh my gosh. Just ran. Oh, feels so good to take that off. Oh, oh I know. And that's just from wearing it for like an hour, hour and a half. Oh my gosh, bless all those people who wear them like all day. Oh, sorry, I just ran in my hunter boots. I'm so thirsty. Yay, that was a lot. Everything is okay with baby. Baby is perfect and healthy. And I got some beautiful pictures. I'm so excited. Here, let me show you. You see that little baby? Oh my gosh, there it is. Nee, nee, nee. Baby is measuring seven weeks, five days, and I'm seven weeks, four days. So the baby's not too small. Um, but just from like my first impression, from remembering Hugo's and like looking at Hugo's ultrasound pictures from the very first time, I feel like Hugo was bigger, um, but this baby still has like kind of a big head. I also learned that I have like a, I'm sure she said this in my other appointments, but I guess I just forgot, but my um, uterus is tilted back, I guess. So there's that. We well, yeah, everything went really, really well. It was so nice seeing my doctor. She's just so supportive and so wonderful. And like I, I just feel so great in her care and we talked about everything. I let her know about how I was feeling and just like everything going on. We talked about the C-section. If you're new to my channel, you might not know. I'm gonna save that for a whole other video. Um, and yeah, we just like talked about everything and it was so, so, so great. And my due date, because my cycles are shorter, my due date is November 24th, but um, because of the C-section, we're looking at like a November 18th, which is really exciting because that's a Wednesday and Hugo, Hugo's turnover date was Wednesdays and I think he ended up being born on a Thursday, but I went into the hospital on Wednesday, I think. Anyway, his birthday is February 28th and so if this baby is born on November 18th, it was just so sweet. It'll just be so, so sweet. I'm stumbling over my words. Um, yeah, it was weird inside. There aren't a lot of people. I think um, some of the hospital staff 
um, isn't work. Like I think they've cut the hospital staff in half. And so like some are working for two weeks and then the other group coming for two weeks. Um, cause there were definitely not a lot of people. The second I walked in, they said, do you have a mask? And I said, yes. And they said, please wear it the entire time you're here. They took my temperature they asked me some screening questions and then yeah once i got up to the office there was like no one and yeah, it was it was weird but everyone was in really really good spirits and everyone was really positive and so you know my doctor obviously she said i don't know what's gonna happen none of us do but fingers crossed that by the time this by the time baby is here, everything is back to normal. Um, my next appointment is in four weeks. I get, have the nuchal scan. And I think I'm getting some blood work done. And then at that appointment, I'll see the, a midwife, I believe, who will, or a nurse, a nurse, who will go over those um, blood work results with me. Um, I did tell my doctor about, I'm going to see an endocrinologist in like two weeks, I believe, because of my thyroid, um, which was, I had pre-scheduled before this, and she told me to call the um, endocrinologist and just let them know that I am pregnant, because if they need blood work done, um, they can just send it to the OB office, and like, you could sort of, you know, what's that saying? Kill two birds with one stone sort of thing. So I will do that, I'll call them. Um, and what else? After my new goal, um, I come back two weeks later to see them, my doctor. So I'm definitely like, I, it's not, I'm not, I thought my appointments were going to be like further spaced apart. Um, but they said that these are the things that I have to come in for. So I'll be coming in for those and yeah, just praying and hoping that, um, things with the pandemic slow down and, and that it's not as much of an issue. So I'm gonna go home and show Jeff the pictures. Uh, it's so rainy, raining, and yeah, I'm just like I'm really excited now. It feels real now. It, if you guys are pregnant, and I know so many of you are, you know that like before your very first ultrasound, it can be like they were saying to me when I saw the doctor because I saw my doctor first. We talked, and then I saw went to the ultrasound. They, you know did the ultrasound confirm the pregnancy and then I saw my doctor again so when I first saw my doctor she was like if it's a positive pregnancy test and the nurse was like if it's positive if it's a positive not a positive pregnancy test but if it's positive like if it's a positive pregnancy and that just like got me nervous weirdly I was like oh right like we don't actually know and it like something could be wrong I guess but um, then the ultrasound was so great and the baby looks great the baby's heart rate uh, and I'll probably be repeating all of this in my seven week update um, that I need to film, but, um, they said the heart rate, I think was like 150 or 151, I believe. And yeah, she said everything looks good as little, or I say him, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but their little, their little spine is forming and little head. So cute. I saw like tiny little, like tiny little nubs. All right, I'm going to go. That was really exciting. Um, maybe I'll get a little, a little bit of Jeff on here. Um, but yeah so happy should also mention when i get home i'm just gonna like strip off all my clothes and go right into the shower so i don't know if i'll get to show i don't know if i'll get to see jeff's reaction like right away to the pictures because he might look at the pictures while i'm in the shower um but yeah i really just like want to wash everything off um the second i get home what's that that's the like little yolk sac mm. yolk sac in milk that's the head. I know it's kind of hard to tell. Not quite as clear as mm -hmm. Hugo's first ones. Mm -hmm. I think that's the yolk mm -hmm. sac. That like turns in, I think is the placenta. Mm. Mm. Is so cute? You get a tiny baby. She said he, the baby's a centimeter and a half. <laughs>